Jason, you have a delivery notification. Dopro Black Electro Socket Jack Plate and Graph Tech Preslow did not have arrived. Completion of Stealth Edition Telecaster should begin immediately. Well, we're back again, and Alexa was right again. We got the Dopro Genuine Parts Black Output Jack Plate Electro Socket Style by Cash Music. So, we gotta pop that sucker in there. Black socket and the black screws. Perfect. So, this should just screw on to the jack. Oh, look at that! So easy! Alright, so there's too much thread showing for my liking. So, I'm going to back off this nut here. Try and get it just above flush. Right there. Show you that. See? Just, just below flush with the actual output jack. Alright, I'm going to push these wires in and install this jack plate. I'll be right back. So if some of you are wondering, yeah, but is that cash jack like a good fit? Like a direct replacement for the Musies? Uh, yes it is. <laughs> that thing just pops right in there, the screw holes line up and everything. Now maybe it's just this guitar, but I doubt it. I think all these electro socket plates are pretty much the same. So yeah, perfect fit. Just popped right in there, two screws lined right up. It's like a 30 second job, uh, super easy. All right, the last part we were waiting for, which also came in was my black pre-slotted uh, graph tech nut. The good news is, if I line up the original Musi nut with the slots on the new nut, I don't know if you'll be able to see that on camera, but they are pretty much slotted exactly the same. Well, I think you can see that almost. They are bang on. The slots are exactly in the same place. However, the graph tech nut is a lot taller. You see that? So I got to take a lot of it off. And I'm not sure what the best approach to do it. I know you can put a sandpaper and then you can just kind of slide it on the bottom, but I always find that kind of gives you an uneven flat surface at the bottom. I'm going to try and find another way to do it where it's kind of foolproof. And the other problem is the nut is a lot wider. I don't know if you can see that. So it sticks out quite a bit more than the original. So that's gonna to have to be addressed as well. So anyway, I'm gonna to try to come up with a really simple and quick and efficient way to sand down this nut um, so that uh, it, you know, it's roughly the same size. Cause this Musi nut worked great just as it was. Uh, it's just white and I wanna go with black. All right, well, welcome to the shed. So here's the plan. So I took a measurement with the original nut and I have to take off about a sixteenth of an inch off the bottom of this one. So I got the Dremel ready with the sander. And because I'm not going to sand clear through solid steel on this vise. And I set the nut up. I don't know if you can see that there. So that I have a sixteenth of an inch sticking up and above this solid steel block that's going to act as my edge. It's not perfectly straight, but it doesn't matter because this Musi nut isn't either. <laughs> so anyway, that's the plan. So basically, I'm going to turn this little sucker on. And we are just going to file that nut smooth until I make contact with the steel. Here we go. There. So hopefully you guys can see that. All right? So now that I have 
sanding marks all along the metal here, I know that I am totally flush and level. Oh, nice and dusty. All right, so I'm gonna pull that out and we're gonna measure it up. So this, ladies and gentlemen, is pretty darn perfect, other than the edges that stick out too much. I'm gonna to have to sand those down as well. Look at that. <laughs> That's an easy way to file down a nut, boys and girls. All right, well, there you have it. We have a black Craftec nut installed. Now, these nuts are a little thinner than the original Musi nuts, so there's going to be some movement back and forth, so I might try and put a little shim in there, or just some extra glue, I'm not sure. As long as it touches you know, the front part of the neck, I think it'll be okay. We'll just gotta go with that. And as far as shortening the nut, there's no easy way to do it. You just gotta sand the edge off on a piece of sandpaper until you get the width that you want. So I'm going to throw some strings on here and see if we're close. Guys and girls, it's done! It's finally done! Just finished it in time for a gig tonight. So I'm going to do a little sound check here and pack it up and hit the road. <laughs> so there it is. The Black Stealth Edition MUZ Telecaster. <laughs> One of a kind. I think the black stuff looks great. It's just, it's just different. And you guys know me by now, I like different. Anyway, I'm, I'm super happy with how it turned out. It, it was great. So here's some, uh, some tones. Uh, these pickups are not stock, so I replaced them with Peg City pickups. A uh, custom set that I had my buddy Chris make. Now, well, I call him my buddy because he's a heck of a nice guy, but he, you know, we've never met. Um, but if you want a custom set of pickups, you reach out to Chris at Peg City. He's, he's an amazing guy to deal with. So these are kind of his version of the Brad Paisley Labria set that you can get through Samer Duncan. But those things were friggin' ridiculously expensive, especially here in Canada. So he hooked me up with these and I got to say they're pretty awesome. So here's the clean sound now i will say this these black strings they're they're pretty cool looking but they feel plasticky and they're kind of dark sounding and you can see just by setting it up and just picking around uh before you know this video the the black paint's coming off the strings already or whatever the black coating is so they're i'm not going to waste my money to get any more of these black strings so i'm not sure that they'll you know this guitar will sound as good as it, it could so no more black colored strings for me. I'm just going to put the regular stuff on there and rock on. <laughs> so here's a bridge pickup. Middle 
bridge pickup with some higher gain. <laughs> edition. <laughs> well, I had a lot of fun building this. Uh, thanks for following along. Thanks for all the comments and all the help. Always appreciate it. You guys take care. God bless. And rock and roll! See you guys. Project Stealth Edition a success. Good job, Jason. We make a good team. I'll keep ordering the parts and you keep building the guitars. Till next time, rock on.